what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I will be showing you how to get Freestyle Dash on your RGH or your JTAG Xbox 360. Keep in mind that your Xbox needs to be RGH or JTAG for this to work. So basically um, Freestyle Dash is similar to like Multiman for the PS3 so it has a pretty nice layout you can also use freestyle dash to copy your disk game onto the hard drive of your xbox 360 you can also use it to like download cover arts for the games you can um increase the fan speed you can do a bunch of stuff using freestyle dash okay but i'm going to show you guys how to get it on your rgh or your jtag xbox um, in my another video, I'll show you how to set it up so you can boot directly. Every time you turn on your console, you will boot in it directly. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in my next video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and download the Freestyle Dash right here. Go ahead and extract it. Make sure that you have WinRAW on your PC. Go ahead and extract. And that's it. You're going to end up with this folder right here. So when you get this folder, go to your USB device. Plug your USB device into your computer. Make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. And then go ahead and copy this. And paste it on your USB device. Okay, so that's done. What we need to do now is just go ahead, eject, and let's head over to the to the Xbox 360. Okay, so once you're on your Xbox 360, go ahead and log into your user. If you have the internet connected to the Xbox, you will get like an update message. Just go ahead and cancel it. Alright, so what we need to do first is go over to settings, make sure that your Xbox is connected to the internet, mine is connected by wire. You can go down to test Xbox Live connection. It's going to give you this warning message. Basically, it's telling you that it's going to log out all of the users. Press yes. And it's going to start to test the connection. And there you go you will get another message basically you will you will keep getting messages about update okay just remember to press no okay it says um, test fail that's okay so press cancel we don't need it to connect to Xbox Live we don't need Xbox Live we only need it to connect to the internet okay that's all we need all right so let's go ahead now press um sir press B B again B again go back and go over to the games column now press a go to X menu 1.2 I've made a video how to get this on your Xbox um, your RGH or your JTAG Xbox you guys can check the video out in the description so launch it um, log back into your user when we are on X menu, you want to press the right bumper, then go down to the F3 Rev V775. This is the freestyle dash. So press Y, press A on copy, press X, go down to HDD1, press A. Now go ahead and press Y again, go down to paste press confirm I had the folder there before so just overwrite it all right so now we can go ahead and remove our um, USB stick from the Xbox we don't need the USB stick in the Xbox anymore now go down to um, the folder that we just copied over the freestyle dash right here press a Go down to default 
dot xex press a and launch it and as you guys can see we are now launching in freestyle dash all right so here we have the open tray um, latest games Xbox 360 games this is where all your Xbox 360 games will be located we have Xbox Live Arcade we also have homebrew and Xbox Classic this is the old Xbox game and also emulator you will need to direct the Xbox to each of these folder to this folder this one if you have if you have stuff inside these folder you will need to direct it to these I'm gonna show you how to direct it to the Xbox 360 game folder you can do the very same with all the other folders okay now if you go up top we have utilities so we have file manager here if you press a we can um, copy stuff from our um, USB stick over to our Xbox the root of our Xbox you can do it either way you want to do it okay all right so you can as you can see down at the bottom it shows the options copy move delete rename and all of that so press B and go back on over here we have DVD extract if you put your original DVD game in the Xbox right now you can use this option to rip the CD to your hard drive okay here we have weather if you go up we have settings we have skins and credits for all the people who work on this skins there's just the default skin you can add skin if you want I'll show you guys how to do that in like another video you can also customize this skin if you press X um, you can um, go over here you can change the skin color sorry um, let's see let's go ahead and uh, this looks good let's use this one uh, so press a um, go over here we're gonna change the bottom part um, not much not much so we're gonna use this one alright so we can now press um, X to save and return and that's it we just edit it as I said guys you can add skins or you can edit the background layout if you want so right here we have settings if you press a general settings up top this is where you can set like to receive update notice and startup show status bar on startup um, show weather on startup you can do all of these things enable connect controller in freestyle dash here we have the jqe360.com you can connect your um, link your console to this server and play your games right here um, I think you can play your games online um, with other Xbox in on your own network I think that's how it works okay so you can play like Call of Duty in one in the bedroom and your friends are in the living room or stuff like that I don't remember how it really works I'll probably do a video on this next time we have profiles right here um, update weather settings um, reset settings press B we have content settings here you can um, choose the different type of artwork you want for the game like the layout and all of that here we have marketplace cover download make sure that um, you guys have um, set it on the highest you can enable um, custom covers so like it will download custom covers if people make them um, I would just leave leave the timer as this um, over here we have scan settings um, you can put it disable or start up here is the manage gamepad you this is the section I was talking about you need to manage the the path for all your stuff you have on your hard drive so if you have emulators so let's press a if you have emulators you need to change the path inside the hard drive and select the the path for all your stuff okay 
so down here I'm just gonna select um, Xbox 360 and I'm gonna go up I'm gonna go over to scan depth I'm gonna put this at 4 um, I'm gonna make over here remain as it is because I don't have anything else I only have Xbox 360 game on the hard drive now I'm gonna go to change path I'm gonna go down to um, HDD1 here I have Azura Wrath so I'm just gonna press Y and select the directory and that's it now I'm gonna press X to save it and that's it right there and as you can see down at the bottom it shows the the scanning and the status so it should download covers so let's go ahead and check so press B press B again oh hold on I forgot to show you guys we have system settings uh, time and date security for your FTP and all of that over scan fi um, fan control I would put this at 65 percent you can put it um, you can put it higher if you want as you can see there they give a notice warning setting fan speed too low could damage your Xbox so you can put it at 70 or 65 let's do 70 okay yeah let's do 70 keep the system cool okay now we can press B we have plugins you can add your plugins right here I don't have any so I'm not gonna do anything about this part so press B press B again and go back out let's go up to library right here right here now press A and we have the Azura Wrath we have one out of one and as you can see missing cover so press Y on the controller go down to refresh artwork this should download your artwork for the game so let's see yep there it is now we can press um, B and go back out and here we have the Azura Wrath um, when you add games um, let me go ahead and change this let's see if I can change the duplicate so let's go back out let's go to settings let's go down to content go down to go down to right here game list style options and let's choose FSD flow so this will fix the duplicate of the game so as you guys saw before it was showing a bunch of the same games so selecting this one will definitely works a lot better because it shows only the game and it shows like a little description of the game and also a photo of the game so definitely use this one guys so let's press B B again B let's go up to library let's enter it now and as you guys can see it's only showing one game so definitely use this option guys if you press um if you press down it will give you a little bit of description it will show you the ratings press down again it will show you a photo so definitely this one is the best one to use okay so I think that's it guys um in my next video I'll show you how to set this up permanently so whenever you boot your Xbox 360 you will boot inside the freestyle dash instead okay let me repeat that again in my next video I'll show you how to set up this permanently so whenever you turn on your Xbox it will boot in this option it will boot in the freestyle dash every time instead of going back to the old boring um, boot screen okay so guys if you all like the video give it a thumbs up share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video